Vanakkam. Today we are going to do an egg experiment, also known as a tooth decay experiment. The point of this experiment is to see the effects of each liquid on our teeth. Our teeth are similar to eggshells, so we'll be using eggs. For this experiment, you will need four eggs, a marker pen, four jars, juice, milk, a glass of water and a fizzy drink. First, you need to boil the eggs. Whilst the eggs are boiling, we will label each jar accordingly to its liquid. I will label this jar J, J for juice, M for milk, W for water and F for fizzy drink. Now pour each liquid into their labelled jars. Three quarters should be enough because when the egg is inside, the liquid will automatically rise. After the eggs are fully boiled, let them cool down. Now we're going to put the eggs in each liquid. Take note of the time so you can check it at the same time for tomorrow for the best results. Now we'll put the first egg into the apple juice. Try not to try not to drop it in. Try put it in softly. Now we'll put the second egg into the milk. Now we'll put the third egg into a plain water. The fourth egg will go into the vinto. As you can see, the, as soon as you put the egg in the vinto, it, it has started bubbling the egg up and is now rising. The water had just kept it plain and it is and it has not floated. The milk you cannot see anything but if we predict it might be whiter. And for the ju apple juice has bubbled a bit but it's still not floating. Tomorrow, after 24 hours, we'll come and check. Welcome back. It's been 24 hours and let's see how the eggs have come on. As you can see, for, for the apple juice, there's a slight crack along. And there are permanent bubbles sticking onto the egg. So then that means it might have dissolved at the top. Moving on to the milk. As you can see, just a little bit of the egg, I think it might be just the same. The water, the egg has gone a bit paler than last time. The water is slightly cloudy. Now we are moving on to our last jar, the fizzy drink. We can see it has little white patches and lines. So that means it must have dissolved. There isn't much bubbling as the apple juice. We'll meet you after 24 hours again. Welcome back, it's been 48 hours. In the apple juice, the crack has got a bit darker and the amount of bubbles have decreased. And at the top, the skin is peeling. The milk. From the bit we can see, it looks as nothing has happened. The water. The egg inside the water is still the same, but the water is a bit more cloudier. And finally, the fizzy drink. It seems like the egg is taking the color of the drink and there is a new, there's a new layer on top of the jar. We'll come 
and check after 24 hours. Welcome back. It's been 72 hours. That apple juice has got a bit cloudy and mouldy. The egg has automatically started peeling its skin. The egg inside the milk has not changed at all with the little bit we can see. The egg inside the water has not changed at all. The egg inside the fizzy drink has changed a lot. There are, there are bubbles coming from inside the shell and it has got a bit darker. Well, come and check after 24 hours. Welcome back. It's been 96 hours. From what we can see now, all the eggs are pointing up and rose to the top, a step from the water which is laying on its side. The apple juice. Nothing has happened to the egg, but the liquid has got foamier. The egg inside the milk has rose to the top and is visible to our eyes. The egg inside the water has not changed since last time. The fizzy drink. The egg inside the fizzy drink has created more bubbles around the egg and has started to make a bit of mold. Or we'll come and check after 24 hours. Welcome back. This is our last day. It has been 5 days, 120 hours. The egg inside the apple juice has not changed, but the liquid is starting to make even more mold. The egg inside the milk has rose to the top a bit, but nothing has changed. The egg inside the water is still plain. The egg inside the fizzy drink it has more bubbles and has started to grow a bit more mold. Now let's do a quick smell test before we empty out the jars and take test the eggs. The apple juice has a strong rotten fruit smell. The milk has a cow poo smell. The water doesn't smell at all. The fizzy drink is similar to the apple juice but slightly weaker. Now let's pour the liquid and see the egg. The milk. The water. The fizzy drink. Let's take out the egg from the apple juice. shell has changed color and when we rub it it automatically peels off now from the milk as you can see when we poured the milk it, it solidified the shell of the egg is very hard and some bits have absorbed the milk like these white patches Now from the water. The egg has not changed much and it feels like a normal hard boiled egg. Now from the fizzy drink. The skin of the shell has took the color of the drink. And same as the apple juice, its skin is peeling off. Now let's look inside the eggs. First the apple juice. Now the milk, it still has a strong smell.
Now the water. Lastly, the fizzy drink. The apple juice, milk and the fizzy drink all have a flat bottom and a yellow spot except from the water. The water has a slight flat bottom but no yellow spot. Let's cut the eggs in half to see the inside. From the experiment we can see the apple juice dissolved the outer layer of the eggshell. The fizzy drink did the same, but also stained the egg due to acid and sugars. The milk hardened the egg. This is because, like our teeth, the egg contains calcium. So the calcium in the milk strengthens our teeth. Finally, water has no effect as it is neutral. Finally, from this experiment, we can see Apple juice and fizzy drink are bad for your teeth and milk and water are good for your teeth. Thank you for watching our video. Hope yours works too. Make sure you subscribe, comment and smash that like button. Ali, 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 Ali. Oh.